Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a bowl cozy. I got the instructions from Craft Warehouse. I will link it down below. So you've got your cotton batting and your fabric in your 10 inch squares, you're going to lay them on top of each other like this and then you're going to sew in diagonals, you go one like this and both pieces. So now it's all done, dusted, you can see I just used white thread, but you should use coordinating thread. My line's not that straight because I didn't draw the line on first, but again, this is just to use up scrap fabric and something that's going to be practical and I want it to be quick and easy. So I'm going to take out the pins. And I didn't do locking stitches because it's all going to get sewn in together. So we're going to fold our piece in half like so. I'm going to measure two and a half inches down and going to put a line. And then we're going to measure that line up so from the two and a half inches to the one inch so from there to there it's going to be one inch and I'm just doing that on my cutting mat so this is going to be one of our darts I'm going to do the same here so one inch across two and a half inches down so you can do this on your cutting mat or you can measure it Do the same in all four sides on both pieces. Stick a couple of pins in just to keep it stabilized, and then I'm going to sew down each of my chort lines.
So now we have four darts and this is how you get your bowl shape. So for each of the darts I'm just going to cut off the excess and I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch. They look good, don't they? Go place them right sides together. And we're going to sew all the way around, leaving a two inch gap round about in any of the four sides. So I'm going to leave one about here. That's all sewn. When you are sewing over the dark fabric, so press one one way and press the other one the other way just to reduce bulk. So we take our pins out. Now you can trim these edges down so it gives you a bit more of a nicer finish or you can just leave them. I'm going to opt to leave them but I am going to cut across each corner making sure you don't cut the thread that you've just stitched. Now with our gap we are going to turn it right sides out. So with your open seam, tuck, make sure all your edges are tucked in nicely and we're going to top stitch all the way around and across that hole to make sure that it stays nice and closed up. And there we have it, one finished full cozy. So I opted to use a decorative stitch. Um, I would reduce the seam allowance where the darts are to make it easier to go under your foot or use a walking foot um, to make it a bit easier. Um, and to get around the corners, just use some scissors or one of your pointy tools just to help it get, get under because it is quite a lot of fabric that you're going through. And then they're done and dusted. So I should have used a coordinating stitch. You can see it's nice and reversible, and it's a good use of scrap fabric because they're not basically you can stitch together any 10 inch square of scrap fabric and easily turn it into a bowl cozy. That's all you need. I think it's a, a really good stash buster so you can put your bowl in heat your soup up in the microwave and then you can just take it out without burning your hands <laughs>